Despite a hefty suspension given to one of the league's star players, the NTFL has moved today to reassure supporters. It's dispelling fears Daniel Motlop will be banned for life, citing a technicality in the rules. It comes the morning after a marathon three-hour tribunal hearing, which saw Motlop sidelined for nine weeks. Daniel Motlop waited and waited. And after a hearing lasting three hours, the NTFL tribunal found him guilty. I made the comment and um, I got what I got, so yeah, it's not really much to say. Really. He got a nine-week suspension with the tribunal finding a front-on bump intentional and a third-quarter strike reckless against St Mary's last week. It's done. What's done is done. I've had a long career. Um, I'm happy for that. Oh, Daniel's really disappointed, yes. He's, he's been a pretty good... Um, player and uh, obviously for the Wanderers Football Club, so yes, he is feeling disappointed. But the NTFL moved today to quash fears this suspension would see him handed a life ban for exceeding the 16-week national limit. It cited a rule saying players would need a warning letter and Motlop has not received one before. If his total when we get it all together and it does add up above that 16 threshold, you'll still have that letter of warning, but it'll his letter will then determine uh, it'll mean that next time he gets suspended he will be deregistered. With the threat of a lifetime ban now disappearing, the Wanderers are hopeful that Daniel Motlop can fulfil his nine-week suspension, putting him in line to play just one more game this year, a possible grand final. Mark Stefano, ABC News.